Hi there, my name's Leah, I'm one of the A&E doctors, how can I help? Hi Leah, thanks for coming so quickly. I'm Grace, one of the nurses. This is Callum, he's 20 years old and he's just been brought in by ambulance with shortness of breath. He's got a background of asthma, but it's usually well controlled. In the ambulance they gave him a nebulizer and he seemed a lot better, but he's just now got really breathless and I'm very worried about him. I was hoping you could assess him. Yeah, of course, no worries. Thanks, just let me know if you need anything. Thank you. Hi Callum, my name's Leah, I'm one of the doctors. I'd just like to give you a check over today to make sure your breathing's all right. Is that okay? Yes. Thank you very much. I'm just going to start by checking your full name and date of birth. Callum Smith, 10th of July 2004. Okay, that's great. And I'm just going to start off um, just by having a little listen to your airway. So how is your breathing feeling at the minute? I just can't catch my breath. Okay. I'm happy with his airway because I can hear him talking to us. I'm just going to move on to assess his breathing. Whilst I'm doing that, would it be okay to just get his oxygen saps and respiratory rate, please? Yes, of course. Callum, I'd like to start by having a listen to your chest. Is it okay if I just remove your t-shirt? Go ahead. Okay, thanks. Okay, I'm just going to start by having a feel of your windpipe. Okay, that feels all right. I'm going to pop my hands on your chest. If you just take some big breaths for me. Okay, I'll just have a tap on your chest. Okay, and just breathe normally for me, Callum. Okay. His rest rate is 32 and the oxygen saturation is on 91%. Okay. Would it be alright to put him on 15 litres of oxygen via a non rebreathe mask, please? I'll do that right now. Callum, I'm just going to pop this oxygen on, okay, to help with your breathing. Go ahead. Okay, now that he's on oxygen, I'm going to do an arterial blood gas. He was also quite wheezy on examination of his chest, so I'm going to request a chest x-ray. Would you mind just preparing a nebulizer of salbutamol and ipratropium and I'll go and prescribe it? Yeah, I'll do that now. Thanks very much. Okay, so looking at the arterial blood gas, the pH is normal, the PCO2 is a little bit low, and the oxygen is normal, but he is on 15 litres of oxygen via a non rebreathe mask. Okay, so the airway looks central and the lung fields look clear. I think this is probably a normal chest x ray. Okay, so now that we've given him the oxygen and the nebulizers, I think we should just reassess to make sure that he's improving. Would it be okay if you just recheck his oxygen status and respiratory rate and I will listen to his chest? Yeah, of course. Thanks. The oxygen sats are now 95% and the rest rate is 27. Okay, that's great. It sounds like we're going in the right direction, so we'll continue with the treatment. We're just going to move on to assess his circulation. Would it be okay to check his heart rate, blood pressure and the fluid balance as well, please? Of course. Thank you. Callum, I'm just going to start by having a feel of your hands and checking your temperature, okay? Yes. Okay. 
Okay, Callum, if you could just turn your head over to the left for me, I'm just going to have a look at your neck. Okay, that's great, thank you. You can turn your head back. Okay, Callum, I'm just going to have a little listen to your heart. Okay, and then finally I just need to have a quick check of your legs. Okay. Is there any pain when I'm pressing on your legs? No, no pain. Okay. There's no swelling. So the blood pressure was 110 over 88 and the heart rate was 95. Okay, that sounds all right. Um, on examination, he was peripherally warm and well perfused. His heart sounds were normal and there's no peripheral edema. Um, so I'm just going to put a cannula in and take some blood tests. Would you mind just doing an ECG, please? Yeah, of course. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to take a full blood count, use the knees, LFTs and a CRP. Here's Callum's ECG. Thank you. Okay, so it's sinus rhythm, the rate is 95. I can't see any abnormalities there. Okay, I'm just gonna move on with my assessment. I'm gonna check his conscious level and his pupils. Would you mind just checking his blood sugar whilst I'm doing that? And can I borrow your pen torch, please? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Okay, Callum, I'm just going to shine a bright light in your eyes for a second. Okay, that's great. And can you tell me whereabouts you are at the minute? Yes, I'm in hospital. Okay, thank you. So that blood sugar was 5.8. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I'm just going to move on to assess his tummy and his legs. Would you mind just checking his temperature, please? Yeah, of course. Thanks. Um, Callum, do you have any pain in your tummy at the minute? No, no, I don't. Okay. So ideally I'd lay you a bit more flat to check your tummy, but because you're struggling with your breathing, I'm going to keep you sat where you are. I'm just going to have a little feel of your tummy though, okay? Okay. And then I'll just have a little look at your legs. Can I just lift your gown up a bit? Yes. Thanks. Okay, there's no rashes there. Callum, I'm just going to pop this in your ear to check your temperature, okay? Okay. So the temperature was 36.8. Okay, thanks very much. Um, so that completes our assessment. Um, based on the investigations and examination findings, it sounds like there's a non-infective exacerbation of asthma. Um, we've already treated Callum with some oxygen and some nebulizers. I think we probably need to give him some steroids. So I'm just going to prescribe some oral prednisolone, 40 milligrams, if you wouldn't mind getting that for me. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Hi Leah, he's had his prednisolone and I've put up another salbutamol nebulizer. Okay, that's great, thank you. Um, I'm just going to go and hand over to our senior um, just to let him know about what's been going on. Um, would you mind just repeating the patient's observations whilst I'm away and then I'll come back? Yeah, of course. Thanks. Hi there, it's Dr Farrington, IT registrar on call. Hi there, my name's Leah, I'm one of the doctors in ED. Um, I was just calling to discuss um, a gentleman who's come in with an acute severe exacerbation of asthma. Sure, go ahead. Um, so I've got a 20-year-old man, he's called Callum Smith. He does have a known background of asthma, but he's coming today with a deterioration of his symptoms. Um, his SATs were 92% on room air when he first came into the department. That has improved to 95% on a 15-litre non-rebreathe mask, and it stayed at 95% with some salbutamol nebulizers that we've given. Mm -hmm. um, on examination of his chest, it is globally wheezy, but we've done a chest x-ray which shows that there's no other pathology. Um, and a blood gas um, was also normal aside from a slightly low carbon dioxide. Um, on the rest of his assessment, 
He is perfectly warm and well perfused. He's hemodynamically stable and his calves were soft and tender. The rest of the examination was also normal. Um, so in total, we've given him two salbutamol nebs, five milligrams each. He's also had some ipratropium bromide um, and we've just given him a start of prednisolone. Um, his respirate's currently sat at 27. His hearts are still 95%. Um, and his chest is starting to settle, so I'm planning to do a peak flow soon. Um, but because of his sats when he came in, he does fall into the acute severe category for his exacerbation. So I think he probably needs an ITU review. Okay, can I just clarify a few points? What was the respiratory rate originally? Um, so it was 32 when he came in and it's now come down to 27. Okay, and the blood gas, you mentioned that the oxygen levels were normal and the CO2 was low. Can I just clarify, was that on oxygen? Yes, that was on the 15 litres non rebreathe Okay, what are the vital signs at the moment? Um, so his blood pressure is 110 over 88, his temperature is 36.8, his respiratory rate is 27 and his oxygen sats are 95%. Um, he's currently on a salbutamol nebulizer. Okay, great. And is that oxygen driven? Yes, it is. Yeah. Great. Okay. So I think continue doing what you're doing uh, with the back-to-back salbutamol nebulizers. I'll be down right away. That's great. Thank you very much. Check out the Geeky Medics collection of over 1,000 OSCE stations. You can practice with friends using our group study mode or chat with our amazing AI-powered virtual patients.